Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna actually open up an entire case of these 2016 Pathfinder Battles Deadly Foes miniatures. Now, there's a total of 32 packs in a case, and there are eight packs wrapped into what is called a brick. So 32 of these, I'm gonna open up two packs for you, and then I'm gonna open up the rest of them off stream to save a bunch of time. So uh, there's a total of four miniatures in these packs. So let's get these opened up. Sorry about it making all the noise. So you're gonna get three small and mediums and one large. Oh, wow, look at that, holy cow. Wow, this is uh, one of the awesome rare ones, I think. Hard to get out of here. Sorry about the, all the noise, everybody. So yeah, look at that. So I got a total of three mediums. And look at this, holy cow. There is, this is definitely a rare, 43 of 46, the Pit Devil. So I got him, and it looks like the wings I'm going to have to plug in. Well, actually, one wing is attached. The other wing I'm going to have to attach onto it. So that's one of them, and then you'll see that whenever we get done. So that's nice, a rare. And then here we go. Here is a Torrent Hell Knight, number 24. Really cool-looking mini. And you'll be able to see them better once I talk about each miniature after I get done opening these packs, but I just want to show you folks what it looks like. Okay, so here is a Celestial Lantern. Really cool. You could use those for like dancing lights and stuff as well. That is miniature number one. And then last I've got... Yeah. What is this last little bundle of joy? Oh, very cool. This is a Invisible Guardian. And this is number four. So that would be a common miniature as well. So let's open up this last pack. So while I'm opening up this last pack, I looked a long time. This is actually uh, Deadly Foes and Crown of Fangs were the only uh, cases that I was not, I was not able to find. Uh, so as you can see, I got three more medium sized. And for the large, which fell out, I got a unicorn. So yeah, pretty cool. The old unicorn. All right. And this is why I only open up two packs is because it's so noisy. And uh, yeah. This is a cool looking angel. What is this? A celestial trumpeteer. Really cool. Yeah, so it took me a long time. In fact, I was to the point to where I was just going to buy one of each miniature and be done with it on eBay. But I actually contacted one of the buyers that I had bought from before several cases. This is a Perry, number six. Oh, that's actually a really cool, nice transparent. Yeah, really cool. So I contacted this uh, seller that I had bought several other cases from, and they actually said that they had two cases left, and it was Deadly Foes and Crown of Fangs. Unbelievable. The last two cases that I needed, well, the last two sets, and it cost me $500 a, a case. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. An Angelkin Paladin. Wow, this is definitely a rare. This is 3446, a nice flaming sword. Holy cow, a flaming aura around the head. Wow, that's really nice. So yeah, this was the last of the two uh, cases that I needed. And it literally, it, I thought I was going to have to, if I ever found them, I thought I was going to have to pay $800 to $1,000 a case, which is just an astronomical amount. And I, I wouldn't pay that much anyway. I would just spend three, 400 bucks and buy each miniature just to have the set so but i got lucky i found a case for 500 bucks and yeah so there's a total of 44 miniatures in this set and there's six terrain pieces also it's for a total of 50 
Uh, and then there's also the case incentive as well, which is the Clockwork Dragon and the Cthulhu spawn, which you can check that video out as well. Uh, within the set, there's a total of 13 common miniatures. There are 19 uncommon miniatures and there's 18 rares. So hopefully there's an entire set at least inside of the case. And one of the, actually two of the terrain pieces in this set, which is the, there's a portal, which is, looks really cool. Haven't seen it yet. Uh, and then there's also a book of the damned, which is a big book that's sitting on a pedestal. Those two terrain pieces are like 75 to a hundred dollars a piece. So it would have been quite pricey to put this, uh, Put this set together so i'm thankful that i found this case for 500 and i'm gonna go ahead and open up the other 30 packs that i have now and i'm gonna go over each miniature so let's start taking a look at these all right so i've got the case opened up all 32 packs are open and we're gonna start right away but i've got some really i mean unbelievable news towards the end of this video. So this is number one, the Celestial Lantern. And I got five of these out of the case and I'm really happy about that because not only can you use these as a Celestial Lantern, but you could use these as like maybe a fancy lamp or something like that in like a, like a dungeon room or something like that. So I would definitely check out all of your miniatures, which I'm sure you do. You don't need me telling you this, but you can use these miniatures for other things besides just monsters well not all of them obviously not you know dragons and stuff like that but you could use it as a statue maybe yeah this is a, a medium-sized miniature uh, i got five of them it's uh, really got a cool clear transparent orb with a gold sort of like rim around it really nice got five of these and i will definitely be using these as other uh, obstacles and terrain as well. So number two is the Accuser Devil. And I only got three of these, and this is a common miniature as well. And it's on one of those hideous pegs. I call them the hideous pegs. You know, honestly, there's really not too many minis that have these bad pegs, but I will give Paizo credit for this type of miniature because this uh this little devil i didn't have to put usually in icons of the realms a well not usually but a lot of the times you'll have to take the miniature put it in you'll have to take the peg put it in the stand and then take the mini and you know basically impale it onto the the peg but you didn't have to do that with this and i'm really happy about that because when you have to put them together usually when you pick the mini up either the stand falls off or the miniature falls off and it's just a mess uh then you got to super glue it and all that other stuff so yeah the accuser devil's pretty cool chubby little thing got a long tongue sticking out of it i like the wings are clear and transparent and then it has like a like an insect or, or like a spider body. It's basically humanoid from the waist up and like a like a beetle or a bug or something like that from the waist down, maybe even a spider. So really cool. Really nice little mini. Yeah, really cool. All right, so miniature number three. This is actually really nice. This is common as well. This is a salamander. You can never have too many salamanders. There's really not a lot of stuff like this. So I unfortunately only got three of these out of the case. But I do like the stance of the salamander. And it takes up the whole medium base as well, which is one by one. And it has a lot of nice uh, spikes coming out of the body. Got a big old spear. Got nice texture for the for the scales and the body's got a six pack like I do. Told them not to mimic me. I mean, they even colored the eyes on this. Looks really good. I like the uh, like the auburn red, the burnt red. So this is a salamander number three of 46. And I got uh, three of these bad boys. Wish I would have got at least another one. So number four 
is the Invisible Guardian. This is one of the ones that I had actually got when I opened up one of the packs for you folks. And this is a, I like this because this is like a transparent piece of resin and it's got a, like a whitish or grayish, very lightly dry brush on it. And then it has some darker colors around the eyes and the mouth and stuff. So really nice job on this. And I like, I actually like how it, it actually looks like sort of like smoke or something like that but of course it's an invisible guardian and it's supposed to so yeah this is really nice and you could use these for invisible stalkers too if you're playing DD. &D. yeah this is their version of it i guess <laughs> paizos but yeah number four of uh, 46 i actually got four of these so i'm really glad that i got four of these that would actually be a pretty cool encounter and it is also a medium-sized figure Number five is the Celestial Sentinel, five of 46. This is a, a medium miniature, and this is common, and I only got three of these. Usually you get, you know, four or five of the common stuff, but I got, you know, just three of these. But I actually like this. This is sort of like a, uh, what are they, like a jackal. Nice pose, though. I like how he's kind of holding the sword up. Great detail on on the sort of like from the waist down with the cloak. Definitely built. Got a lot of cool things on the belt. I like the black and teal blue mix. Real nice gold bracers. And I mean, there's no there's no overrun on this either. And I like how the actual the actual body of the jackals kind of dry brush because you can see all of the the shadowing from the uh, from the black primer. So that repainted, I guess, uh, looks really good. But uh, well, machine or hand brush, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section. Yeah, medium based, uh, common celestial sentinel, five of forty six. Only got three of them. All right, so this is really cool. This is number six. I got uh, one of these also in the packs, and this is the uh, the Perry, and I love the transparent wings on this. And she's very scantily dressed. I like I like how she's inside of the wings, and it's part of the base of the mini. I mean, this is actually a really nice mini, and I got a total of four of these out of the case and it's it's a common miniature as well she's got a mr t starter kit on she's got a lot of gold on she's got like a gold belt and her hair's cover, covering her body and it looks good it's a great looking miniature the perry number six of 46 got four of them and it's a common miniature all right, number seven, <laughs> the lemurs. I love these. I've got some from Icons of the Realms as well. And it's a medium miniature. It's number seven. And I actually got five of these. So this would actually make a really cool demon and devil encounter. Throw some demons and devils together, have fun. Really nice, so I, I like this. It's got a lot of detail and I like the dry brushing. Uh, with the, the color of the actual body itself. And the face is so distinctive on this. So it's got black indentured eyes and white dots in them. And it doesn't look like it's been, you know, hacked or anything like that. I mean, it looks really nicely painted. And then it has some white dots and stuff on it as well, on its rotten flesh. The lemur devil, 7 of 46, got five of these common miniature. All right, so number uh, number eight is the Hobgoblin Archer. And I love it when they add stuff like this in instead of just a Hobgoblin having a sword and a shield. So it's really, and, and that's really good about Paizo because they don't regurgitate a bunch of stuff and they do a lot of variety, especially with like goblins. There's like 20 different types of goblins and orcs and I love that. So this is a this is a medium miniature. It is common. It's number eight, and I got three of these. I would have liked to had four or five of these because usually hobgoblin encounters are pretty big. But then this is nice because he's actually holding a bow, and most hobgoblins just have a shield and 
you know, you got to say, well, this one's shooting a bow and then you can't remember, is this the one shooting a bow? So it's actually nice that this is a, this hobgoblin has a bow and it looks like a long bow. He's got nice scale mail on, a nice fur cloak, nicely detailed quiver. I just like the way the hobgoblins look in Pathfinder. They look more orcish even though they're part of the goblinoid family. But yeah, this guy looks good. This looks really good. I do like the armor, all the packets and stuff that he has. Got a couple of daggers on. Really nice. Hobgoblin Archer, number eight of 46. Common, and I got three of them. So this, this is really cool too, as I drop it and thankfully I didn't break it. Another hobgoblin, which is common, and it's the hobgoblin alchemist. How cool is that? And especially with, you know, in Pathfinder 2, the alchemist being a playable class now, this would be a perfect miniature for you to play a hobgoblin. I mean, look at the detail on this miniature. He's got two flaming you know, alchemist vials in his hands and it's got clear, transparent flame burning. He's got big old boots with the fur on. He's got goldish or bronze, probably bronze armor, bracers, cool looking helmet. I mean, this is, this is a great looking miniature. This is great to just to make a hobgoblin alchemist. If you're gonna play an alchemist, like hobgoblin, because you're gonna have a cool looking to you're gonna have a cool looking token or miniature. Got a big old backpack on, probably as a traveling alchemist kit, or his alchemy lab traveling lab. Yeah, this dude, he's fixing to light you up. So yeah, the hobgoblin alchemist number nine of forty six. It's common, and I got four of these, so that's really cool. That would be really cool to have a bunch of hobgoblins with shields and swords, with bows, with two-handers, and now throwing bombs. I mean, how cool is that? Number nine, another hobgoblin, the hobgoblin cleric. You can't ask for much more variety than this. I mean, seriously. This is number 10 of 46. It's a medium figure. It's common. And I got four of these as well. This hobgoblin looks good. Look at the size of that big old mace. Nice detail on the armor. It's awesome. Beautiful boots. This is definitely a female hobgoblin cleric. It's got a great, great looking like bracers and stuff and art. Just the detail on this armor. It's pretty amazing. But I'm so glad that they've they've done more hobgoblins. So the Hobgoblin Cleric, number 10 of 46. I got four of these, and they are common. All right. Next is uh, the Priest of Asmodeus, number 11 of 46. I actually got five of these. And yeah, this, is, this is awesome. He's dual wielding, like, two maces. I mean, this guy is ready to fight. I love the cloak swaying in the wind. I mean, the face looks amazing on this. I will say in other Pathfinder Battles editions, they really messed up on beards and mustaches where they would look like you got a ball gag on your miniature. But this guy, the Priest of Asmodeus, this guy is top notch. I mean, he's even got a pentagram on his chest plate. I mean, this is great. Black and red, which is the color of Osmodius. Plate mail gaunts, plate chest, plate spaldlets. This is this is amazing. This is a really this is a great miniature to use as a cleric. But the face is great. I mean, everything is distinctive. The mustache is distinctive, the little goatee, the little Shakespearean goatee he has. The eyes, even the eyebrows, I mean, great job on this miniature. I mean, really good. Hand-painted or machine-painted, I have no clue. But this is 1146, 11 of 46. 
Uh, I actually got five of these, which is really cool because I'm going to be doing a last wall eventually. And this would be great to use these as last wall uh, fighters. Really nice. But it's a common miniature and it's on a medium base. So on to the next is the Thrun Officer, which is number 12 of 46. And this chick looks amazing as well. Holy cow. Yeah, this is 12 of 46. It's common. It's on a medium base. And I got three of these. Yeah, she's either a paladin or a cleric. And she looks good. I mean, look at that shield. Got a symbol on the shield. I mean, her head looks really good. Distinctive eyebrows and eyes and mouth. I mean, this is really nicely done. These minis are really nice. I can't say that for all Pathfinder Battles minis. I mean, she's got scale mail on. She's got like a sort of like a uh, like a net guard, shoulder guards, a waist guard. She's got like a like an axe on her belt, or maybe a dagger. Looks like a dagger. Then she's got other pouches and stuff. What a top notch mini, man. There you go, ladies, gents. There's another nice cleric miniature as well. This is the Thrun Enforcer, number 12 of 46. It's common, and I got three of them. Now, this is a great mini. When I opened up the pack and got this, I was totally stoked. And this is number 13 of 46, and this is the giant crab. I mean, there's not many giant crabs out there, right? And this is, I mean, this thing looks like something that you see in a lobster tank. <laughs> I mean, the detail on this is great. This It's a medium-sized miniature, and I actually got a total of four of these, and I was happy to see this. This would be a cool, like, little seaside encounter. And then, you know, like I did in my 13th age game, the crabs just attacked them out of the water, and then they ended up with so many crabs, they just had a crab boil for the whole town. That was really good. But the detail on this crab's great. I mean, this literally looks like a real crab with the or burnt orangish uh, color with the what the the cream mixed in and the black points. I used to catch these all the time as a kid. We used to cook them right there on the beach. Really cool. Giant crab. Common. This is the last common miniature. And I got four of them, thankfully. Number 13. So here's another nice, uh, this is uh, an imp. You never have too many imps, right? So this is 14 of 46. It's a small miniature. And uh, I actually got three of these. And it's uncommon. So it's going to be a little bit more rare. But yeah, this looks really good. Nice color on the wings. I mean, the little, little horns. They got some color to them. Good tone on the body. He's in a great position. I like how the wings are spread. Yeah, this is a really cool looking imp. There's a couple of imps and uh, icons of the realm that look really good too, but they all look they all look the same. They're really all high quality. So, this is the imp number fourteen of uh, forty six, and I got a total of three of these, and these are uncommon. So I got another wing creature, which is another rare type of miniature that you don't see very often. In, and that's the cockatrice. And this is number 15 of 46. And unfortunately, I only got three of these as well. But at least I did get pretty much three of each of the uncommon stuff, which is pretty much what you get. But this cockatrice looks really good. I like to pose. It's like squawking. It's got great, I mean, check out those wings. Such great detail. And there's there's literally no oversplash on this, this red on the gray. I mean, it just is so nice to see this. I mean, the underbelly looks awesome. I mean, this this is, I know that D&D &D had a great looking cockatrice like 15 years ago in the D&D &D battles, the D&D &D battle set. But this cockatrice, it rivals it. It really does. It looks really good. I love the wings. The wings are, are what like really sets this miniature off. And then all the different colors in the face and stuff. I mean, 
top notch miniature, it really is. Cockatrice, 15 of 46. It is uh, also a small base, and I got three of them, and it is an uncommon miniature. Here we go for all you seafarers out there. Here's another big old crab. This is number 16 of 46, and this is a cave catcher. It's on a medium base, and it's uh, it's a little bit bigger than the other crab. Yeah, this is great looking here. Big old antenna, big old tongue coming out. Pathfinder loves to put big tongues on their monsters, long tongues. Beautiful purple color. It's got a dry brush look to it. I love how half of the body is purple, half is like an auburn red, and the same for the legs and everything. This looks really good. This is also uncommon. Yeah, it's number 16. I got three of these as well. So this is the this is the cave catcher. All right, next. Number 17, the dwarf slayer. So all you dwarf fans out here. Here's a great looking male dwarf, and this guy is armed to the hilt. And the detail on this is just amazing. Holy cow. He's got this huge mace. Look at that mace. Holy cow. His beard is so distinctive. It's dry brushed. It's not covering his mouth. It's not covering his face. His beard is distinctive. I mean, his hair looks great. Yeah, that, that mace looks awesome as hell. His armor looks good. Nice detail on the armor. All of the bands and stuff and all of the all of the edging. That's so distinctive. It's not bleeding on, on the armor. Awesome star belt buckle. He's got a beautiful shield. He's got a bow and quiver of arrows on his back. And this looks good. He's got a couple pouches. Really beautiful male dwarf. This is the Dwarf Slayer, number 17 of 46. It's uncommon. It's medium, and I got I got three of these out of the case. So here's another one of these uh, angels that I got out of the pack that I opened. This is a, a, a Celestial Trumpeteer. It's number 18 of 46. I got three of these, and this looks really good. Now, these are the pegs that I like the miniatures to be on. So why put this miniature on this peg, but yet not use one of these these types of pegs for this devil or the celestial lantern. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Maybe a different company makes it and then sends it to WizKids. I don't know. But she looks really good. She looks awesome. I mean, the detail on the wings is like really amazing. Gantily dressed, guys. Got great looking boots, great looking legs. I mean, uh, <laughs> now she looks really good, though. I like the armor. I like all of the detail of the armor, like on all the straps and everything. Yeah, this looks really good. And how it's kind of like flowing in the wind. You know, she's kind of like maybe hovering and kind of hovering towards you. She got that big old trumpet. She is called a trumpeteer. So she's got like a gold trumpet. I mean, a great looking face as well. I mean, definitely great looking face. I mean, she's got red lips. She's got blue eyes. I mean, she's got a lot of good detail to her. Really nice. I mean, it's really nice. So the Celestial Trumpeteer, medium size, is number 18. And I got a total of three of these. All right, next, here we go, all you doppelganger fans out here. Here's uh, the doppelganger, the medium base, another tongue sticking out. Paizo loves those big old long tongues hanging out. So this is 19 of 46. It's on a medium base. I got a total of three of these, and this doppelganger looks good. He's got the big old hands. I mean, it's it looks good. Nice cream color, texture, dry brush, very... Skinny bones are protruding. The head looks awesome. Big old long blue tongue flapping in the wind. Distinct full eyes. Great looking mini. This is Doppelganger. 19 of 46. I got a total of three of these. All right. Number 20 is the, uh, the Care Bear. Oh, 
<laughs> it's a Cerberi, which is uh, sort of like a uh, like a demon dog, a three headed demon dog. It's medium, and I also got three of these as well. Yeah, this has got really, really nice texture, especially on the and color on the legs and you know the auburn red and all of the different veins and muscles and it looks really good. Even the heads have a lot of detail to them um, from a color standpoint. All distinct fold. Mouths are all colored. Teeth are colored. Inside of the mouths are red. They have distinct eyes. I mean, this is these are great paint jobs. I couldn't even do this good of a job painting it by hand. Yeah, this is a great looking miniature. Uh, Cerberi three headed devil dog or beast dog or twenty forty six. I got a total of three of these as well. Really nice miniature. All right. Here is a, a Strix Sorcerer, number 21 of 46. This is also uncommon. This looks like a little miniature Sphinx, a Sphinx, doesn't it? He's, de he's definitely fixing to throw a fireball or a firebolt or something. I don't know if that's big enough to be a fireball. But this mini looks amazing. This reminds me of uh, the Wizard of Oz and the Flying Monkey Men. This looks really good. I love the the detail of the wings, and the wings aren't solid. I mean, they're they're actually each feather protruding is like independent. That's nice. And then the robe this guy is wearing is is great as well. Gold and red, distinctful Mr. T starter kit. Nice uh, necklace going around, or just the braid from the from the neck. Great looking gloves and boots and belt. I mean, all distinctful. I mean, it's not overrunning on the red. Great face, ears are, you know, the, the color of the face sticking out of the side of the, the hood. Great looking mini. Did a good job with these, Paizo. The Strike Sorcerer, number 21 of 46. I got uh, three of these, and it's on a medium base. Uh, oh, yeah, here you go, devil fans out here. Here's a bearded devil. You don't see too many bearded devil miniatures. There's a lot of devils in this uh, set, as you can tell. Uh, 22 of 46 on a medium base, and I got a total of four of these uh, bearded devils. Yeah, this is advertised. It's definitely got a hellacious goat beard on it. Great horns. Great spiked armor, big old hell of a dark black rotten glaive, lots of spikes on the glaive, lots of different blades, really nice cool tail that kind of protrudes over the base, multicolor on the skin, red and black, great cartilage coming off of the like the the gaunts and in fact those are those are actually blades on the gaunts so that's not even like cartilage that looks amazing the armor looks absolutely awesome too all of the skeletal ribs on the back kind of protruding out yeah the color of this thing is great too wow the bearded devil 22 of 46 i got a total of four four of these and these are on a uh these are on a medium base. Now, number 25, uh, I'm sorry, number 23, yeah, because the uh, Bearded Devil was 22, and this uh, Arrhenius Devil is 23. And on another great base, I love these bases. Man, look at this miniature. Holy cow, this thing is beautiful. I think this is probably the best mini out of the set so far. 23 of 46 on a medium base. And I only actually only got two of these and it's uncommon. But look at that bow. Holy cow. It's like a clear, transparent, orange flaming bow. She got a like a flaming arrow. Her hair's like kind of flailed up. Look at those wings, man. The wings have like each feather is protruding. It's not like a solid wing. It looks good. She's got a great pose. This is a beautiful miniature. Holy cow. Looks really good. Great detail on the armor. She's got like a quiver on her leg. But yeah, that bow, that bow looks spectacular. 
But the Arrhenias, they always look like this. But the, I mean, this is still probably one of the better ones that I have. This is probably the best one. And it's 23 or 46. It's on a medium base. And I only, unfortunately, only got two of those. So here we are. Here's number 24. And this is the Torrent Helmite. It's on a medium base. And I got three of these. Yeah, this, this guy looks amazing. Holy cow. Look at that armor. Look at that helm. Yeah, I like that aqua blue and like deep purple look. Yeah, this guy looks great. He's got like other weapons coming off of him. I mean, the distinctiveness of the color on this armor is amazing. Aqua blue, light blue, a metallic like chain mesh. Those boots look amazing. He's got like a curved dagger hanging off of the side. He's got a he's got more scale or chain hanging off of the back. He's got a big old mohawk helmet. Man, this thing looks so good. This would be cool to use as a fighter or a paladin or whatever you want. Look at that glaive. That glaive looks good too. Man, that point, imagine stepping on this thing at four o'clock in the morning. I wouldn't be too happy. <laughs> I'd be like stepping on a D4 like I did. That was not fun. Oh, the Swarton Helmite, really nice looking miniature. 24, uncommon. I got three of them and it's on a medium base. So here's number 25. This is the first large miniature. And this is the uh, the Ankara of Drone, sort of like, uh, what does this look like from D&D, &D, the Ankeg? So this is the Ankara of Drone. Can't copy the name, it's copyrighted. Great color on this, so I love the head on this with the big, the big spike coming off of it. Two big old spikes coming out of the sides. Look at his front legs, it looks so good. Three different colors on this, like a light brown, a yellow, like an orange mixed in, and a like a chocolate. What a great looking mini. Holy cow. The Anko Drone is a large miniature, two by two base, number 25. I only got two of these. But I think that's all you'll need. These things look pretty tough. <laughs> all right, number 26 is um uh, yeah this is uh that let's see i'm getting ahead of myself here this is number 25 all right moving on to number 26 of 46 which is another large mini this is the cave giant and it's on a two by two large base and i got a total of four of these this would be a really good encounter in fact you could even use this as like a maybe an orc chieftain or something like that this looks really good yeah, it looks really good. Not your typical looking giant. I do like the Hulk greenish look. Long hair. Look at that big old axe. Holy cow. That thing is made out of bone or stone or something like that, but it looks good. Face looks really good on this too with the uh, mandibles coming down or the tusk. Big old open mouth, red inside. You can see his teeth, the detail of the eyes, the mohawk. Yeah. Great looking, uh, great looking body as well with like all kinds of muscles and loincloths and furry boots and big feet. Yeah, Cave Giant, number 26 of 46. Great looking miniature. Four of these. It's uncommon. All right, number 27. Number 27 is the Flying Ray. Now, this thing looks really cool. It's a, and it actually came with the peg already in it, so I'll give it to, I'll give it to him. These pegs aren't as bad as other, other pegs that I've seen. So this is number 27 of 46. It is the Flying Ray. And this thing looks good. I mean, this thing looks just like sharp. I mean, look at the purple. I mean, distinctive face. 
Yeah, this looks good. The uh, the white points of the the cartilage coming out of the wings. It's on a large two by two base. It's it's uncommon as well. And uh, I got three of these. This looks good. I like the spikes and stuff coming out of the out of the the edge of the wing on top and the white points to tail. Great job. Really nice. I like the purple. This is Flying Ray, 27 of 46. Large mini. Looks really good. All right, number 28 is the Hellcat. This looks really awesome, too. Holy cow. The Hellcat. A lot of transparent resin with this. It's on a, a large base. It is also uncommon. And it's definitely flaming it. This looks good. Yeah, all the flames coming off of it, the clear transparent orange flames with the black mixed in around the, the ribs and the head and the fangs and the eyes. Yeah, this looks really good. Great looking mini. Yeah, I don't, there isn't one bad mini in this set so far. This is really nice. 28 of 46, the Hellcat. Got three of them. It's uncommon on a large base. Number 29 is the Sewer Beast. This is the Pathfinder version of the D&D Atiag, I guess. But this is Sewer Beast, 29 of 46. It's also a large miniature. I got four of these, and this is uncommon. I like this. This looks really good. Only got three legs. Got three big old barbed tentacles. Look at that. Look at the head. I mean, the head on this thing looks great. There's no overrun. I, I really pay attention to this kind of stuff, and these minis look really good out of this set. Too bad every set didn't look like this. Nice distinctive tongue. I mean, red inside of the mouth, the white teeth, no eyes, but the tentacles have great color as well with the barbs and the, the flesh color, the white barbs. You know, it looks really good. Sewer Beast, 29 of 46. Got a total of four of them. All right, so here we go. Number 30. I already got one of these out of the packs that I opened up that I showed you. This is the unicorn. Everybody knows what a unicorn looks like. So, yeah, this is a great, this is a good looking unicorn. I mean, how can you screw up a unicorn, to be honest? <laughs> but it is a large miniature. Uh, I did get four of these. It is also uncommon. Yeah, great. I mean, great white color, and it looks like the tail and the mane is a is a different off white. And then it's got blue eyes and the snout. You can tell there's you know the holes are there. The little goatee, the golden horn. Good looking unicorn. Thirty of forty six. I got four of them. Uncommon on a medium base. So this is a this is a cool one too. This is number thirty one. This is the advanced hellhound. I mean, if you think a hellhound's bad enough, wait till you run across the advanced hellhound. Then you're really going to be in trouble. But this is thirty one of forty six. This is also uncommon. Uh, it's on a large two by two base, and this looks good as well. I almost kind of thought it was the same mini at first. The Hellcat. But they're not. They're actually totally different. But yeah, the Hellhound looks really good. I thought Hellhounds had diff different heads as well, but I guess the Advanced only has one. Look at that spike collar he's got on. Nice orange and black look. Really nice. Nice texture, and look at the look at the spine going out to the tail. It looks really good. The Advanced Hellhound. Uncommon, 31 of 46. I got a total of three of these. All right, number 32. This is the Giant Eagle. Now, this actually came apart. This is the only Pathfinder Battles Mini that out of all 19 sets, this is the only one that I had to put together. And I hate these pegs. I really do. But to counter that, because in Icons of the Realms, they put these pegs on there and either the base falls off when you pick up the mini 
or the or the miniature literally just comes right off of the peg. So I went ahead and I super glued this and super gluing it is the way to go. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to super glue all four of these that I got. So I did get four of these giant eagles. And honestly, this giant eagle looks amazing. I mean, this thing looks like something out of a magazine, to be honest. I mean, look at the detail on the wings. I mean, look at that. Black and white like a light brown, great looking eyes, two colored eyes. Those claws are amazing with the, the white feathers coming down towards the, the claws. And this is a, this is a top notch miniature, it really is. Yeah, but, it, but this was actually really easy to, to put together. And I mean, the, the first time I put the peg in, I had the glue on it and it just went right in. I mean, it, you didn't have to fight with it or anything, but just be careful because these pegs are really flimsy and I've actually broken a couple pegs and I've had to glue the pegs back together. Uh, and I use this uh, this Loctite super glue. So you can get this on Amazon with free delivery for about four bucks. This is the best miniature glue you'll ever use. Well, it's actually the only one I've ever used. So there could be better glue out there, but I just don't know. But yeah, this, this eagle looks really good. 32 of 46. Absolutely beautiful piece. And I got a total of four of these. And they're on a large two by two base. And it is the last uncommon miniature of the set. So now we're into the rares, right? And here is the first rare miniature, and this is number 33 of 46. This is the House Drake, and it's on a small base. It is rare. I only got one of these in the case, but I did get a full set, which is a, a great thing. I was getting really worried there towards the end. Wow, look at those wings. I love, I love it when they take the time to do the detail between the bones of the wings and the actual flesh itself on the wings. And then the, the spikes on the wings. Yeah, the purple and black. There's a heavy purple and black theme in this, but I mean, it's all devils and stuff like that. So, I mean, you got to expect that. I mean, they even went into the, the black under the chin all the way under the belly to the tail. I mean, that's like really nice. This is a beautiful little miniature. And I mean, yeah, you could use this as like a familiar or whatever. House Drake, 33 of 46. It is rare. I only got one, unfortunately. There hasn't been too many times where I've gotten more than one rare miniature. But uh, yeah, I may have a surprise for you here at the end. So here's, yeah, this is, this is probably, this looks better than, than the Aaron is actually. This is a uh, number 34 of 46. This is also rare. I only got one, but this is an Angelkin Paladin. Gosh, man, look at that. Look at that flaming sword that he's swinging. I mean, this just looks amazing. Got the beautiful steel sword with the transparent orange flame coming off. He's got like a uh, transparent orange halo around his head. Beautiful big cloak that's like flailing in the wind. Look at that beautiful armor. Black, gray, gold, silver. Wow. It's amazing. Uh, I like that hilt too. One hilt kind of squirrels up and squirrels down. Yeah, this guy's top notch. I would totally use this if I was playing a paladin. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a shield. I, I I had to think about that, but this miniature looks great. The Angelkin Paladin, it's rare. I only got one 34 on a medium base. Number 35, and this is also a great looking mini. This is the Fire Diabloist. It's rare. I only got one. Yeah, she looks amazing. Holy cow. Look at that weapon. What is that? Is that like a two-handed mace? Look at that beautiful curved shield, like a, almost a tower shield. That's a, definitely a large shield. 
But look at that armor, all the different colors, black and gold and auburn red and chrome and plate pieces and a plate helmet. Wow, these these miniatures are absolutely gorgeous. And I don't I don't all like this very often. But this this entire set has been just spectacular. The Fire Diablo is 35 of 46. Only got one, unfortunately. But that weapon looks amazing. I like the like the hook on the end of it too. Yeah, medium base. Yeah, 35. Number 36. Wow, 36 looks awesome too. This is uh the Pathfinder Society leader. Yeah, this looks awesome. Wow. <laughs> Look at that cloak. Holy cow. I like the spikes coming off of the shoulder pads. Totally World of Warcraft style. Great looking armor. Great looking helmet with like three spines coming off of it. Got a great looking spear or is that a staff? All kinds of detail on the armor, on the chest piece. Wow, this thing's top notch too. So many great PCs to, that you could use uh, for around the table. The helm's not covering up the entire face, and you can actually see the flesh. You can see the flesh between the gauntlets and stuff. Really nice mini. Pathfinder Society Leader, 36 of 46. Definitely a rare miniature as well, and I only got one. Number 37 is the Technic League Captain. And look at this. Kind of looks like a minx, doesn't he? Definitely looks like a barbarian type of character or a fighter. Yeah, definitely looks like minx from uh from D D. <laughs> Old minx and boo. Yeah, he looks good though. Total gladiator style. Big old burly dude as well. Bald head, no hair. Look at that beautiful green blade. Two-handed sword. You can tell from the extended hilt. Great straps going around his back. No bleed over. Great spike gauntlets. Yeah, look at that. The, the epaulets that he has. Oh, man, look at the detail on that. So much detail on this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at his uh, epaulet arm. Total gladiator style right there. Well, this is the uh, the Technic League Captain 37 of 46. Medium base. Awesome. Great stuff. All right, on to number, should be number 38. This is the Barzillan or Barzilla or Barzillai Thrun, 38 of 46. Oh, wow, look at this guy. Look at that scepter. Yeah, I like that. Look at the, uh, look at the shoulder plates that he has. That is, that's really cool. And then how he has a spike coming up behind his head. Great looking cloak, nice and dry brushed. Nice, nice uh, scepter, nice red in between the chrome. I think they kind of missed it. No, they got it on the front too. Wow, that is like absolutely perfect. I couldn't even do that. Nice gold scabbard with a like a like a short sword or a dagger. Great looking detail. Got some buckles and rings and stuff hanging off of it. Great looking miniature. Barzillai Thrun, 38 of 46. Also rare. Only got one of them. Number 39. Jillia Banalus. She is a total pirate. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this totally looks like a... Uh, Golan Shackles a miniature. Am I looking at the right mini? Yeah, it says DF. It says uh, Deadly Foes. Jillia Banalus. She looks great. She's rare. 39 of 46. And yeah, she's got a lot. I mean, look at the detail on the front of her. Gold, white, blue, gray. I mean, look at the detail at the base of her scabbard hanging down. I mean, look at that. It's got purple in it, gold. She's got a scimitar. She's got like a long sword. 
great looking boots. I mean, look at the detail, all the pockets and the scabbard, even multicolored scabbard, belt, buckles. The shoulders has different color. Look at the rim on the hat. Even has chrome or gold on it. This is this is an amazing miniature. Jillia Banalus or Banalus, 39 of 46. Only got one of these. She's rare as well. On to number 40. What is number 40? Yes, this beautiful miniature right here that escaped me. This is Jensen, and she looks amazing. This is one of the best miniatures as well. And unfortunately, her I only got one broken mini, which is amazing, but her arm was kind of just snapped and hanging, so... I had to do some surgery. Pick up your uh, Loctite glue. Amazon for four bucks. She's got a beautiful flaming sword. And Amazon's not sponsoring this either. So, and neither is WizKids. So this is uh, not a commercial for them. I'm just showing you my minis. I'm tired of your commercials, David. Whatever. There's lots of other channels. Yeah, she looks really good. Jensen, number 40, 46. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, but her arm was snapped and I had to I had to glue it back. Uh, I just had just had to move it. Yeah, she looks really good. Detail on that armor is just amazing. And her boots got like gold buckles. And I mean, look at the look at the edges of like the scabbard and everything. It has color as well. She's wearing like a Almost wearing a chainmail bikini, guys. She's almost, but she's not there. But I love the pose. The pose is what really caught me right off the bat with this mini. So Shenson, 40 of 46. Rare, only got one, unfortunately. So number 41 is a uh, Dino Sphinx. Beautiful miniature. Only got one of these. It's rare as well. And uh, it's on a large 2x2 two two base. This thing looks really good. Tail has good detail. The wings are, the wings have, you know, independent feathers again. I mean, it looks really good. The gold braids in her hair. And then her uh, the wings kind of covering up her chest. But I mean, look at the, look at the face. The face is just, I mean, she's beautiful. I mean, the eyes are like so distinctive and, the mascara she's got on and the lips, her eyes, her eyes look so good. Yeah, this looks really good. And then I love the braids in her hair. She looks good. The Gino Sphinx or the Gino Sphinx, 41 of 46. Great looking mini. Rare and I only got one. Number 42, the Shadow Giant. Also large, two by two base. Only got one of these. Great looking mini though. I love the skin tone of the Shadow Giant. Totally, totally underdark. I love it. I love these uh, these swords that he has. Look really good. He's got a loincloth on. Great looking sandals, multicolored sandals. I mean, this just looks so good. The loincloth is great. I mean, there's no over bleeding from the. Oh, look at this garb he's had. This regalia that he has on is just unbelievable. It got skulls on it, all kinds of like gems and rubies. What a great rare mini. This is like another unbelievable. I, I feel like I'm being bored to you saying that every one of these miniatures are beautiful, but I can't help it. I mean, these miniatures are beautiful. I love the helmet too. Like he's like screaming. You can tell that he's screaming. He's got a, you know, his mouth is red. He's got distinctive eyes. Look at that helm with a skull feathers hanging out of it. Sort of like a, uh, like an Aztec or mine type of theme to it. Really good. Those swords look good. Those bracers look good too. Wow. Shadow Giant, 42 of 46. It's rare. I would have liked to got more of these. Unfortunately, I didn't. 
Now, here's my favorite mini out of the set. This is what I opened up in the pack. This is the Pit Devil, 43 of 46. And remember, one wing I had to put on. But Paizo, great job again. This wing just popped right into the slot. I didn't need to super glue it or anything like that. I mean, it literally fit in there snug. You can't even really see a break in it, you know, where a seam is. But this Pit Devil, this thing looks good. This thing looks just like Diablo. Well, it doesn't look just like him, but he looks good. Different colored wings, the, the red and the orange and the gold and the detail and the texture, the dry brushing. That tail looks good. Multiple colors all over the place on this thing. He's even got like cartilage coming out of his knees that are different colors on the sides of his calves, on his elbows, and his head looks just amazing. His hands look great too. The dry brushing on the hands are gonna look so good. Wow, this is definitely my favorite mini out of the set for sure. This and the Angel Can Paladin. Look at the head on that. Red, white, orange, brown. I mean, this is just like awesome. 43 of 46. Unfortunately, I only got one of those as well. And that was one of the ones that I opened up out of the pack. So here is number 44. It is also on a large base. It's actually a a little bit bigger than a medium sized mini, but this is a, a, a Kekatar Protein. And this is a 4446. And the detail on this thing is like exquisite. Look at, look at all of the independent spines coming all the way from the tip of the tail, all the way to the top of his head. I mean, that's like, that's a great mold right there, honestly. Because a lot of times that would just be solid. Yeah, this is great. This has got like a uh, like a light green that fades to a purple and a dark hunter's green with auburn red hands and black claws. Very great pose on the face. Mouth wide open. Mouth is distinctive. Eyes are distinctive. Details on the face, the teeth. The spines are different colors in the body. Yeah, this looks really good. The, uh, the Kekatar Protein, rare, only uh, only got one of these. This is number 44 of 46, which that was actually unfortunate as well. So now on to the terrain notes. So number 45 and 46 were the, the Cthulhu spawn and the Clockwork Dragon case incentives. Now there's also six... Uh, terrain pieces and they've done this in a lot of different sets which are basically like pillars or coffins or treasure chests or piles of treasure so it's just like little little pieces of terrain that you can add to your dungeon or your piezo flip mats if you're using those but yeah this this first one this is a uh, an arcane pillar and this thing looks great i mean these runes are lit up, basically. You, it, they're colored like a blue, and each rune is different. So that took a lot of time to literally sculpt this, this pillar. Yeah, this looks really good. This would be a good item to have up there for a puzzle for your group. But this thing looks good. But I do like it. This is uh, the arcane pillar. And I only got one of those, unfortunately. And actually, all these, all these terrain pieces are considered rare. Now, next is a candelabra. And I actually got two of these candelabras. And these terrain pieces are usually pretty pricey on eBay and Amazon also. But this candelabra, I got two of these. And it looks great. I mean, definitely has clear, transparent flames coming off of the candles. And I'm glad I got two because I could put these beside like a throne or maybe a door or maybe the next item that I'm going to talk about. But yeah, this looks good. So the next one is the Book of the Damned. And believe it or not, I got two of these Book of the Damned. And I could not believe it. I literally screamed I was like, yes, these things, I'm not joking you, this Book of the Damned is about 
50 to a hundred dollars on eBay. And the book sets on top of the stand. And the book has such great detail. There's a skull. The book has such great detail on the spine, the cover. It's like a brown, like leather book with gold binding everywhere. And the the stand is amazing as well. It's like a giant hand that's holding this, you know, this uh, platform to hold the book. But I literally, I got two of these. I could not believe it. And this is the book of the damned. So that would be cool to have two of those and put those on a wall, you know, maybe in an altar or something on the middle. Yeah, in the middle. But that would actually be really cool. So another great piece is the cage. This is really cool too. Unfortunately, there's no door, but the bottom does come off. So you can take and put like a mini, um, a, a very narrow miniature in the cage. Like you could put the doppelganger or something like that in the cage. And then the, the bottom just snaps right back on. And you can just put this in your dungeon and, uh, the players can see that there's something in there. But I, I only got one of these, but it would have been cool to get two of these. In fact, I might buy an extra one of these just to have two of them. So next is the other big piece in this set. Now, I, I bet you that, that pit fiend, that pit devil, I bet you this thing's expensive as well. But yeah, look at this portal. This is called the Hellgate. And it's got transparent and it's got like a skull face in the actual portal that you walk through. This thing is amazing. This thing's really expensive as well. I think these are about 50 to 100 bucks. I only got one of these, but that's okay. I got two books of the damned, which is amazing. And then all of the detail on the actual portal itself, all the skulls and the bones and the actual bodies that are wrapped up around this. I mean, the detail on this is just amazing. This is, this is a beautiful piece as well. Yeah, I'd, I'll be using this all the time. I've got quite a few portals, but this is by far the best looking portal, without a doubt. Yeah, but this is the Hellgate. Looks really good. Awesome. And then the last one, I actually got two of these as well so from the six pieces of terrain three of them i got two of each which is amazing and this is a rope trick and it's got a great base on it with a coil of rope and the rope from the coil the rope stands up and there's like this aura or plate or something like that that it's that it's balancing really cool I was like, what is this at first? I'm like, what is this? I thought this is like another celestial lantern or something like that. But when I when I actually pulled up on the Minis Gallery website, it said rope trick. I'm like, oh, yeah, because it does make sense because there's a pile of rope. And then I'm like, let me look this up to see what its official name is. But yeah, this is really cool. Rope trick. Be really careful, though, because this is really flimsy and it is resin. It could snap. So... So there you go, everybody. That is the 44 plus six terrain pieces, the entire set. I'm glad I got a great set. I'm glad I got two Book of the Dams. Holy cow, was that awesome. This, this Pit Fiend is just absolutely amazing. And so is the Angelkin Paladin. I mean, this is just an amazing miniature as well, so. I hope you enjoyed me ranting on for over an hour showing you this series. So if you like what you see, please do me a huge favor and hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you like the content on my channel, do me a huge favor and subscribe and hit the bell notification button in the middle of your screen on the right hand side. It'll let you know every time I release a video. So until next time, happy gaming and stay safe.